Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome to another WoW Secrets video. This is the start of our journey for the Hive Mind Mount, a very lucrative mount that a lot of people want to get their hands on. And thanks to the awesome work over from the folks at the WoW Secrets Discord community, I'll leave a link to that in the, in the description of this video. We now have the first steps pretty much solved so that we can be well on our way to collecting this awesome item. So, as always, guys, if you want to help out with the solution to this, please do go and join that aforementioned Discord group, and any information or tidbits of help or advice that you want to share will be very much appreciated, I'm sure. But, as I say, guys, we're going to get started today with what we know so far. So, make your way over to Shatrath City. It shouldn't make any difference whether you're using an Alliance character or Horde character for this. And what you're going to want to do is head over to Griftar here, the amazing amulet vendor. But just in terms of any add-ons you might want to get to help you on your journey, the only thing I think is really going to be important, if there's anything else I'll let you know as we go, is something that's going to give you coordinates. I recommend the TomTom -tom, uh, add-on because you can actually set waypoints with that one. But just in terms of my own coordinates, you can see them present up at the top right hand side here. So as I'm using my map and that to show you where I'm located for the various steps of this solution, then you'll want to just keep an eye on this so you know where to go to yourselves. Okay, so let's get on with it then. So at Griftar here, we're going to speak with him and we're going to be looking for a very specific amulet that he sells. And the amulet is this one here, the Talisman of True Treasure Tracking. So we're going to go ahead and purchase that. It's 28 gold. I'm not sure why uh, I purchased two there. But hey, we'll keep two, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and equip one of those. You only need one. I'm not sure why I even got two. And once you've gone ahead and equipped that, then you can basically see that some of this stuff here is now shining on the table behind him. There's a letter here which has a kind of blue hue around it. And then there's this thing here, uh, kind of pyramid shape, which is in yellow. And then there's a feather here which is glowing in green. And finally a fish which is growing, uh, sorry, glowing in red. So these are the clues as to the locations that we need to go to. So the first one that's been solved by the Discord community is the red fish here. And this is hinting at us to go to Vashia, which is of course the underwater zone introduced in Cataclysm. So I'm going to make my way over to Vajir then next, guys, and I'll update you on the situation once I've arrived. See you there. Once you've made your way over to Vajir then, this is where things get super interesting. You're going to need to find this particular NPC that's in this kind of watchtower thing, Sir Finley Murgleton. And I'm just going to show you on the map. So this is in uh, Kelpthar Forest, okay, that's the exact location just there. So 4420 are the coordinates, and I will leave all of the coordinates in macro form, so as long as you've got TomTom -tom, you can copy and paste them in the description of this video. So once you've found Sir, whatever this guy's name is, Sir Finley Murgleton, you're going to notice he's a vendor, and I believe he's here even if you're not doing the secret, but you can't purchase anything off him. Now, he's going to be selling three different kinds of items. Now, the item we need to get for this part of the puzzle is the red crystal monocle. But we haven't got any of these currency items that we need to actually purchase that. We need five of these, uh, five of these potent gastropod gloops and five of these captured uh, cavitation bubbles. So, straight away, you might notice that the scintillating, sorry, scintillating, or whatever that is, murloc skin lotion is actually also for sale, but alas, we don't have these currency items either. So this uh, quest, this, what are you going to call it, secret, is first of all going to involve just a whole lot of going around different vendors buying, uh, you know, all different kinds of currency so that we can eventually get the red crystal monocle. Here's where the problem lies. All of these currencies, which are purchased from all different locations around Vigia, expire once they've been in our bags for certain amounts of time. So we're going to have to do this in a very specific order. And uh, even if we log out, I believe the timer on those will continue. So once we start, we can't really stop. Okay then, guys. So <laughs> let's make a start. Once you've got to this guy, you want to start by purchasing 500 seashells. Okay, so let's go ahead and just type 500 in there. Well, 499 since I've just purchased one. And that's going to have a 30-minute timer. Okay, so now we need to go and take those seashells and uh, make our way over to the next location. So we're going to have to get the coordinates for that. 
Okay then folks, so the next person that we need to interact with, the next NPC, is the Volatile Violet Scale. And this is located at 3877. I'll just show you that on my map there. Okay, so 3878. Quite low under the surface. That's 3878 of the Abyssal Breach area. I should point that out. Uh, the coordinates do reset depending on which of the three zones of Fashir you're currently in. And one thing to note as well is that I had to buy the seashells twice. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it only gave me 250 or so when I first purchased them. I had to buy another set to get to 500. So you have plenty of time to get to this particular NPC. I've got 22 minutes remaining. We're going to go ahead and interact with her or him. And you can see that there's four different items that we could go ahead and purchase. But what we want to do, in fact, we can only purchase one of those items right now. We don't have the other ingredients. We want to purchase the Cavity Free Great Shark Tooth. And we're going to go ahead and purchase a hundred of those using all of our seashells now. Here's what you need to note. As soon as you do this, you have a five minute duration. That's not a lot to get to the next NPC where we're going to trade them for the next item. So make sure you're ready to continue. Okay, and then go ahead and purchase. Uh, here we go again. If I can do this. Oh, numlock. Look, it all goes haywire for you because you're trying to press numlock so you can actually type in how many you want to buy. And then you start going on auto move. Make sure you've got 100. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And now we're going to go to our next destination, which is way over in the Shimmering Expanse, 53.22. So you can use your seahorse, which you get when you quest through for Shia. Or you can use your flying mount if it's at max speed, 310%. I think they're about the same speed. The seahorse is 450, but that's based on swim speed. So I don't think it makes too much of a difference. And yeah, we've got five minutes now. Uh, to where the heck are they? Oh, there they are. Uh, the hundred shark tooth will expire in five minutes. That's how long we've got to get to the next destination. And the next destination is going to be Manta Stargazer. So let's just make sure that we're hopefully doing this right, which we are. And we need to turn these hundred into fifty of the currency of the next one. So I'll see you there. Manta is near the surface then. Oh, Manta. It's a Manta Ray type thing. Okay, and then we can use those 100 cavity free great shark tooth. We still have three minutes remaining, so I managed to get here in plenty of time. Uh, what we want to do is purchase 50 of these razor eel lava, okay? So let's go ahead here and oh, let's see if I can type 50 in. Nope, got to press num lock, which means I probably lose control of the vendor. No, I didn't. Very good. And let's go ahead and select that. There we go. So we've got 50 rays at Eolava. We've now got uh, five minutes, I believe. Okay, to get to, our, to get to our next destination, which is going to be... Uh, just let me get the instructions for you. So Lil Whaley is going to be our next NPC. Let me just try and target them if we can. Uh, can't as of right now, for some reason. So it can be a bit of a pain to find, unfortunately. Okay, annoyingly then, this is the one we're after, Lil Whaley, but it does swim around, so you might have to look around for it. But just to confirm, 6847 is where I'm currently at and have found this thing. Okay, so what we want to do is use our uh, razor eel lava, that's the one. And we can buy five of these for each one. How much time have I got left? Three minutes, plenty of time still then, really. So let's go ahead and uh, purchase... 250 of those can I change the number nope apparently not so we'll just move it up to 250 total okay we can buy 20 stacks at a time so you've got to actually factor in how long it takes to buy these things because the whole time your timers are ticking down aren't they which is a bit annoying okay so we've got 250 of those yep Whew. right we're getting there then guys we're getting there Next up then, uh, we're going to 65.42 of the Abyssal Death. So a bit of a mission to this next one. Let me just show you where that is on the map. Uh, it's over here. Okay. So make sure that you're heading in the right location. And I'm, I'll see you there. Once you get to 64.42, Gloomy Bluefin is right near the bottom of the seabed. 
okay and it's just kind of saying in one place anyway so what we want to do now is go ahead and trade these for 10 of the freshly malted crab skins so let's just go ahead and purchase 10 of those Okay, and yet they're in our bag, which is great. Next up, we're going back to the kelp far uh, forest area, and the coordinates are 60, 59. So once again, a bit of a swim, unfortunately. So we want to find old fish breath at this location, and he's fairly close to the surface, actually. I did just have him targeted, uh, but as luck would have it, there he is, look. So it's not a huge thing. And can't seem to target him. There we go. But we can actually go ahead now and purchase the Glitter Gill Glitter, which is the first of the two items we need for the Murloc skin a little bit later on. So what we want to do is purchase 50 of these using our 10 multi crab skins. So we'll go ahead and purchase 10 stacks. And now we've got 30 minutes to go and get the rest of the stuff. So that's the first of the two items we need for the third item, which we can use to buy the, well, well it gets confusing, I know. But trust me, we're doing it right. We're doing it right. Okay, right. So next up then, we're going back to Sir Finlay. And the reason for that is we need to go and buy seashells. So he's 4420. I'm just going to pop that into my thingy. And he's a little bit of a distance away. But you can just go ahead and mount up if you remember he's above the surface. And I think I can see his hut from here. Right, and so if I can actually target this fella, there we go. We're going to go ahead and purchase 80. Can I not skim through fast? Because I'm going to have to mess about otherwise. Oh, there we go. Uh, 80 seashells, which doesn't give us a whole lot of time now to head back into the abyssal depths where, we go, depths where we're going to go and speak once more to the gloomy bluefin. So that's the fish that's right at the bottom of the ocean, if you remember that, no doubt. Once we're back at Gloomy Bluefin here, uh, we're going to use these seashells to uh, to purchase two of these giant toenail clippings. So one, oh, we've got two automatically. Okay, fine, I'm not complaining about that. Uh, right, then next up, we're going to head to 4517 of the same location, the Abyssal Depths, and we're looking for Little Carp. So I'm just going to go ahead and swim here until we reach it. He's also fairly close to the sea floor, so we won't need to get, you know, too high to the surface there. So here's Leo Carp, and we're just going to go ahead and purchase four of these Makura eyes. So two, four, okay. Whew. Right then, next up then, we're going to the Volatile Violet Scale again. I think that's one of the first fish that we visited uh, previously, wasn't it? And that's at coordinates 3877. Let me type that in. So a bit of a bit of a mission away but it's also in the abyssal depths which is where we're currently located okay then here we go the violet violet scale same location as before and we're going to purchase this accidentally severed seahorse fin it's going to take all four of our uh, previous items and the next location is going to be in the shimmering expanse and the actual coordinates are 5388 so shimmering expanse 53.88 and the NPC is the Crimson Anglerfish. I'll see you there. Okay, here's the Crimson Anglerfish and we're going to go ahead from this fella and purchase uh, Shiny Sea Serpent Scales, two of, if we can actually do that. Shiny Sea Serpent Scales, there. Will you please hold still? Oh, come on, I'm on a tight budget here. Uh, did we get that? Yeah, okay, we actually only need two, but we're going to get three. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Right, then next up then, the Shimmering Expanse, same location, 5322 though, in terms of coordinates. And we're going to be looking for the Manta Stargazer once more. So this one was near the surface, if I remember. So feel free to swim up and then hop on your flying mount or just stay under the water. It's entirely up to you. But I'll see you there. Let's go ahead and remove that one so it doesn't get confusing. Uh, 5322 we can also remove that one then as well for now 5322 yeah that's the right one okay so once we get to the uh, manta stargazer we can finally purchase the symbiotic plankton which will go nicely with our glitter gill glitter so we're going to go ahead and we need 40 of these so we don't even need to purchase the last one uh, but that's basically it now in terms of the main two green items, which means that we need to make our way back to Sir Finley, who's at 44, 
20 as always. I'll just go ahead and add that onto the coordinates there. And it's actually not too far away from our position. But all the hard work is now basically done. And look, we've got plenty of time left on these. 20 minutes and 30 minutes to be precise. So let's make our way back to him now. And see how it is that we can purchase all these different various items that we need to get. Right then. So first of all, we need to go ahead and purchase uh, five of these. Okay. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. And now we uh, need to go ahead and get five of the potent gastropod gloops and five of the captured cavitation bubbles. Okay, I actually forgot about those, but that's fine. We've got an hour to do it. So next up then we'll go for the gastropod gloops. The problem is these next two only have like 30 minutes or so. All right then, guys. So what I recommend is just basically straight from the off really uh, going ahead and purchasing 1800 seashells from this fella so that's how many we're going to need in total unfortunately no 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 numlock and we do need to try and operate fairly quickly i know we've got an hour but i don't want to run out of uh, time on this oh, come on target 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 there we go let's try that again shall we round two 1800 can we purchase all 1800 no we can't unfortunately that means then that i think we're going to have to do this uh one at a time just out of curiosity can we purchase 1500 no 500 is the most okay that's fine uh just purchase 500 and then another 500 then another 500 and then we should be good to go Okay, there's 1,500, and then the final 300. Well, that should be all we need now to finish this section off completely. Okay, so next up then, we're going back to our fish breath in the Kepler Forest. Okay, so that's 6059. I honestly thought somebody had killed him. I was so scared, but he's green. He can't be killed. It was just another corpse that looked the same. I tell you what, trying to, oh, remember why I hate the shear so much now. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so first thing we want to do then, uh, or the only thing we want to do while we're here, is purchase these uh, black inks. Okay, these Vantus black squid inks. We want to actually purchase 30 of those. So let me just go ahead and do that. That won't use all of your seashells, I understand, uh, but it will use quite a lot of them. Okay, to make sure that we've got 30 Vantus Black Squid Ink, which we have. Okay, next up then we're going to be heading over to the Blackfish. And the coordinates for that are 1582. And it's quite a long way. It is over in the Abyssal Depths. But all of the next items we need for this green potent gastropod gloop are over in this same area. So I'll see you there. Let's try and hurry up, shall we? Unfortunately, the Blackfish is a complete mission away, which is really annoying. Over here, look, right on the edge of this particular area, the abyssal depths. But should still get there in plenty of time. I've got two minutes left on these things. Okay, and we want to purchase 30 slick eel slimes. Why are we buying things from fish? I have no idea, but there we go. So we'll go ahead and purchase 30 of those. And our next location now is 3877 of the same area, the abyssal depths. And that's going to be the volatile violet scale once more where we're going to purchase three rock encrusted whelk shells. Somebody was asking me how I swim so fast, but nothing special. It is just the amount you get from questing here. Uh, right, what was it we was purchasing again? Rock encrusted whelk shells. And we want three of these. One, two, three. Okay, lovely stuff. Next up then, also in the abyssal depths, we're going to 4517. And the reason for that is we want to find the fish NPC known as Little Carp once more. So Little Carp we have uh, encountered previously swimming around. I'll see you there. Okay, and from Little Carp we can now go ahead and purchase the required gastropod gloops, of which we need just five. One, four... I think it's like one on mouse. I keep buying more than I actually uh, require, which is weird. But, mm, strange. I'm not sure why that is. Anyway, uh, I actually have to take a detour because I didn't purchase enough uh, seashells from 
what's his face, Sir Finley, unfortunately. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. But I'm going to take a quick trek back to 4420 of the Shimmering Expanse. And if you don't need to do that yourself, then you can make your way over uh, to Little Whaley. Also in the Shimmering Expanse, 6941, I think it is. But we'll come to that in a moment's time. Okay, so I'm back at Sir Finley momentarily. And you can see now that the only thing that we're going to need is the captured uh, cavitation bubble. We've actually got the rest of the stuff now, which is pretty awesome. So just make sure you've got 1,500 seashells. And we're going to make our way over to Leo Whaley at 69.41 of this same area, the Shimmering Expanse. And I'll go ahead and meet you over there. From Lil Whaley this time then, we're going to be purchasing 300 very pretty coral. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and hopefully be able to type that in. If I can't type 300 in. Okay, let's go ahead and type 250. Nope, can't do that. What is the most I can do? 100 apparently. Okay, so there's 100. There's 200. And there's 300. So make sure you've got 100, 200, 300, the same as me. And next up then, we're going to be making our way over to uh, Crimson Anger Fish once more. And Crimson Anger Fish is located at 53.88 of all places. Yep, so we're going... Oh, no, we're not going to Anger Fish yet. Oh, my bad, my bad. We're actually going to Kelp Far Forest. Anger Fish comes next. Uh, we're going to see Fish Breath first. So let's turn around and make our way over there. Okay, old Fish Breath. Is the correct location. And at Old Fish Breath, we're going to go ahead and uh, purchase the Shimmeray skin. This one here, the Iridescent uh, Shimmeray skin. We need a hundred of those, actually. So we can do all that in one go, I think. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Right, and now, I didn't get this in the wrong order when we actually went there, uh, we're going to head over to the Crimson Angerfish. And that's located at 53.88. Uh oh, it's not coming up for me. Don't don't die on me now, please. Whatever you do, do not die on me now. Let's just go ahead and remove all these. Uh, remove all waypoints. Yes. Try that again. There we go. That's more like it. Two thousand five hundred yards this way. I'll see you there. We're going to be uh, yeah, staying in. No, we're going to the Shimmering Expanse this time. And from the Angerfish, if we can actually, obviously the one that swims all over the place, isn't it? Okay, what do we need to purchase? 20 Lux Scale Scales. 20 Lux Scale Scales, there they are. Uh, 20, oh, got to do Numlock. Right, go, 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 while it's still. Go! 20 of those, please. Okay, yeah, 20 Luxurious Lux Scale Scales. And next up, we're going... Back to the abyssal depths, depths, all the way back to the annoying blackfish. So that's the one I think that's extraordinarily out of the way, actually. Yep. Yeah. So let's start swimming because we don't have a whole lot of time. Five minutes to be precise. I'll see you there. And when we get to the blackfish, we can finally purchase the uh, cavitation bubbles. And we've got enough to purchase five, which is exactly what we need, of course. Make sure you've got them all. Don't accidentally misclick and only get four or whatever. Uh, and then that's basically it now in terms of, you know, all the stuff that we need. We need to go back to Sir Finley, of course. And he's located in pretty much the same location he's always been, which is 4420. And how much time have we got? Hopefully plenty. 39 minutes easy, 19 minutes. So this is our shortest time, 19 minutes. You know, I was thinking of levelling an alt, my next alt. It's currently like 20-something through for sheer when it got to level 80 or whatever it is. Don't know why I've been put off that idea now, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I need a Wii so badly, but don't want to risk logging out in case my time cap is on ticking. Alright then guys, I'll see you back at Sir Finlay. Okay, so once again, the biggest challenge in this particular puzzle is trying to get into the right location with everybody else here to actually loot this thing, uh, isn't it? Look at this, we can finally purchase the red crystal monocle. Let's go ahead and do just that, don't need you anymore. Uh, it says sale price one but can't sell it, that's fine. We've got the red crystal monocle, yay! So it's a head item, that is the red puzzle solved folks. So we just have the blue, the yellow and the green to go. And it looks like the yellow is shortly to be solved, that's what everybody's worked on recently and I'm guessing it's going to be on the way soon. So as soon as that's sorted I'll get making that video 
and we'll continue with this puzzle then folks but let me know what your thoughts are of the puzzle for the hive mind so far that was quite a stressful experience and i ain't coming back to fashir anytime soon i can tell you that but thanks for joining me guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification to be updated of uh, you know future episodes in the wow secrets guide but thanks for joining me today folks i'll see you soon goodbye